Okay, so here we are again, we're out of the field. I've put the camera gear on the plane. You can see here, um, excuse the wind noise because it's blowing a gale today. We've got the little uh, camera here, 850mm battery, the 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmitter, video transmitter from highmodel.com. That's a Foxtech product, High Model, very good supply of that product. And what I've also done here is, if I lift this up, you'll see I've put the ESC on the outside of the model. Uh, that's because it was getting, oh, wait for the air traffic. That's because the ESC was actually getting too warm inside the plane. Remember, this is foam, so it's a giant insulating blanket around the ESC. I had actually cut holes to let air through here and out the back, but it still wasn't enough. The ESC overheated and actually failed. So this time I've stuck one on the outside, which should get plenty of cooling. Now, as I say, it's a very windy day here. That flag doesn't really, that windsock doesn't really show it very well because it's a bit sheltered, but it's blowing probably 10 or 12 knots and I'm going to have a go at the CFPV stuff. I'll now hook the camera up to the video receiver and what you'll see from this point on is what you would see when you were flying. Okay, now that was a very exciting flight, very short but very exciting because several of the Hobby King rubber bands actually broke as the model was flying. I heard one ping as I launched it and it also it hit the prop and I heard another ping as I was coming in for an approach. So I didn't want to dilly dally, I wanted to get the thing down as quickly as possible before the wing came off. These rubber bands, useless, perished in one day of sunlight down here in the southern hemisphere so uh, we'll have to look at an alternative method of uh, fixing the wings or at least some somewhat higher quality rubber bands. Okay let's take a look at the ground station that I've been using here. As you can see there's a big long pole and on that pole is the receiver. That's the Foxtech 5.8 gigahertz receiver I bought from highmodel.com and I've set it up fairly high because that gives much improved reception over having it down near, near or on the ground. Now you can see Basically I've just put a little aerial on there, the pipe it could be much higher, I'm going to try it higher later. It's got a 5 decibel antenna, which is a bit more than usual, but uh, just a starting point. And I hang my camera from this cross piece here, so that uh, I can record anything. And of course because the receiver's got two AV connectors, I can actually hook up my goggles and record at the same time which is quite useful. So what we're going to do fairly soon is experiment with different antennas, different configurations to see how we can extend the range of the fairly standard 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video system that I'm using on this FPV and then we'll switch to different frequencies. We'll try 900 megahertz and we'll try 2.4 gigahertz with a long wire, that's the old FM slash PCM receiver in the model. Now I've just brought the model back to my vehicle and um, Believe it or not, on the way back, yet another rubber band went. I've taken out, this is now four rubber bands have pinged just with this model sitting in the sun. So um, I'm going to have to put brand new rubber bands on this thing. That's probably one of the worst aspects of this plane so far, is the fact the rubber bands they give you are rubbish. But I thought while I've got it here, I'll give you a look inside. Now the two batteries go in here. You'll see, if I look up in here, there's the Free Sky receiver up there. Just uh, 
lurking inside that doesn't take up much room and I think now that I've actually put the ESC on the outside um, to keep it cool it's going to give me more room inside to fit the stability system which is going in next so hopefully that will make life a lot simpler